Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Zaku 3, the thick boy of the Zaku family. A interesting unit that lost out to the Dovin Wolf. It's a very customizable unit with the reliability and uh, design philosophy of the Zaku 2. It's also one of my favorite double Zeta. Uh, suits. I have always liked the Zaku family, and I just like this big, thick boy. So, in game, it's a 550 and up cost general space and ground capable unit with a ballistic and beam resistance of 20, a melee resistance of 30, a range strength of 28. The plus one bonuses are for modifications, by the way. A melee strength of 27, a movement speed of a very stately 940, and a thrust gauge of 70. It's very nice in terms of what it has. Now, let me get tell you. Guess what you think it excels at with these parts. Close range of 19, medium of 11, and long range of 13. It's melee focused, of course, but it's really actually somewhat capable in mid to just the beginnings of long range in some cases though it excels to uh, in mid to close range for equipment we have the bayonet beam rifle i'm going to have a small spill here so please forgive me please give this unit another weapon option I like this weapon, but because of the, the kind of hover nature of this unit, it's slippy slide kind of uh, way of doing things. If we could add a bazooka, even though I'm not a ma major fan of bazookas being in everything, I think that would be a good option because it controls a lot like a dom in some ways with the kind of sliding nature. So sometimes it can be difficult to hit people with the uh, the beam rifle or a charged beam shot. Unless you're being very, very careful. And I think this throws off a lot of people who begin or start playing with the Zaku 3. And makes it more difficult. And why a lot of people just don't play the unit. Otherwise, we get the Zaku 3 beam saber. It's a good beam saber. You hit people with it like it's nerf bat. Let's move on. We have the head beam cannon out the little mouth-like icon. You shoot kind of lower damage, but multi, uh, rapid fire, decently range shots. You can really pile on some damage, especially on the top of the target with it. It's very nice to have. Then we have the torso beam launcher times two. These are attached to the skirt or the armored skirting. Um, it does decent damage. You can. Get a couple shots out of it without it worrying about it overheating. But you're probably only going to pop it out every now and then. I used it to kind of stagger people to a degree. So, you know, you'll you'll figure out how you think it's best to use. Then we have the Beam Rifle Bayonet. It does decent damage. If you're a combo master, these things can flip into each other and you can get some pretty sick damage out of this unit. I still think... They should have a option for a bazooka or some other kind of weapon for this. Or even the uh, Zaku 3 Customs Beam Rifle. Otherwise, what's got skills? We got Leg Shock Absorber Level 3. Special Leg Buffer Level 2. That's a neat 15% less damage to your legs. Emergency Evasion System. Anti-Blast Stabilizers. High Performance Balancer. High spec and back level two, forced injector level two, which is very nice to have. Melee combo controller, high performance radar level two marker. If you're new, marker effectively lets people uh, select you as a target for support fire. So if you're close to death or you're outnumbered, you can throw yourself into an enemy team and try to get them bunched up for support fire. It can be quite nice. Then we have special right shoulder armor buffer on the right shoulder. It's that little kind of armor plate reminiscent to uh, or shield to the Zaku 2. It's 15% less damage for getting shot there. And of course, we have maneuver armor. Um, as to my opinions of this suit, it's fantastic once you get the hang of it. It can really put damage out. It can 
kind of hover around into the, from the front line to mid range, it's a great unit to have teamed up with more aggressive units or even units that are just as aggressive as it because it can come in and just add on top of a, another unit's damage. So I think as a general, it's a pretty good solid general that has only a few minor issues and it mostly stems from the beam rifle. So let's see how this unit does in the match to come. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the match. Um, I'm going to say this. Um, before I actually managed to get this match, I was going to do a video on Mobile Suit Heartbreakers. And the Zaku 3 was going to be um, one of those. Because I... I'd had matches where I'd just done mild in it. Never done really that great. And, uh, well, we're going to start off this match right by charging our beam rifle and going right for it. Now, this unit does have some good speed. We're going to take a good shot into his back, follow it up with the uh, head-mounted beam cannons, miss our, our third shot there. But we're just going to keep harassing him. We're going to miss our shot. We're going to switch over to that, pop some rounds down there, uh, get tripped up by the definitely very well done terrain, zoom in, uh, and take a shot through the smoke. We're going to get caught there, but we're going to dodge out. We're going to switch over to the beam rifle, take a shot. Now, uh, this unit's got some really good mobility, plus some ability to put pressure on targets. So we're going to zip in here. We're just going to give him a good charge counter. Now this is the level 1 Zaku 3. That's really weird to say. Uh, we're going to come up here, catch the uh, Garadoga Kai. Yep. A pretty decent unit in and of itself. Um, oh, we're going to cut in the shoulder and we're going to have a decent chunk of our health taken off and then we're going to see him over here. And uh, he's going to play around the, the corner here. I'm going to use a little bit of the speed to move around. He's going to go right there. We're going to take him. Oh, I thought we had got him. There we go. We got him. Uh, and we're going to play a little bit. We're going to be aggressive here. Smack him there. He's going to come in with a charge. We're going to catch him with that and then downswing. Unfortunately, we're going to catch our guy in that. Get another swing in there. Now, this unit does actually do some pretty decent melee damage as we get taken out. Ouch. So, we're going to spawn in at A. And like I was saying, this unit does have some good mix-up. It's uh, potential. It's got a lot of ranged options. And it's pretty good in melee. I don't, unfortunately, get anything off with the, beam, or the bayonet on the beam rifle. But... I do get a decent amount of uh, nerf sword deployed moments. So we're going to just pursue this guy for a second. We'll take a shot, catch him with that, and then he's going to get taken out by a funnel, I believe. We'll turn around, and we're going to go right in on it. Now, I don't know why it took him so long to respond, but we're going to knock him down. Uh, I was also using a bit of, uh, since it's a hover suit, I like to... Uh, go on or go in on someone and then let it carry the momentum carry me forward as we catch the Garadoga Kai I'm gonna take him out real quick and for a uh, slide into attack because a lot of people will uh, underestimate how far you're actually gonna go we're gonna get caught there we're gonna get hit with the melee he probably should have knocked us down but he was probably trying to help out with his friend we'll switch over there miss fire we get hit here and then uh, hit there and I remember this point my controller basically refused to let me dodge so that was fun so that's our second death so we're gonna spawn in at A again um, now a number four is gonna spend a lot of time I'm assuming fighting off some base bombing but I'm not entirely sure we're gonna come up here hold for a second that guy abandoned his suit so we're gonna redirect over and whoop miss our shot there we're gonna shift over tiny bit fire there put a little bit of pressure on that gpo one 
Uh, and then we're gonna come over here where uh, four and um, oh, but five are fighting. And uh, we're gonna throw some damage in with that head-mounted beam cannon. We're not gonna be able to fire for a guy, but we're gonna catch him a little bit. We're gonna hit him with that uh, swing. Push forward, catch him again, knock him down, slide over. And we're going to let them uh, go to town. They're a little bit better on damage for melee than we are. Uh, we're going to slip around him with our dodge. And we're going to catch him with that shot. Now I'm switching between these just so I can maintain some of my mobility. And I'm trying to use the uh, skirt mounted uh, beam cannons as a way to stagger when I can. But I haven't had a lot of options to do that. Uh, there we go with the kill. Now this unit is, and if you're going to try to use it, I would definitely say think of it as a more shooting based dom, but do effectively consider as these are options to get into melee with somebody, because the unit does really, really well in melee. Um, we're going to clash a little bit, come in, catch him with that, but he was already gone. Oh, pardon me. So. Uh, number two is beating up on their uh, their ship. I'm going to come over, swing over here for a second because I was checking on our guy at A. And the GPO-1 is going to spawn in there. We're going to hold our shot then shoot him in the back to mess him up a little bit. And whoop, we're going to miss our shot with the skirt again. And um, well, we're just going to keep coming in. That GPO one deserves a lot of credit. He was really putting up a fight when um, I'm not sure what a good chunk of his team was doing. So if you're out there, GPO one player, two thumbs up from me. So I'm gonna swing back and check on our base, and then I come back over here because you never leave children unattended for a long period of time. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of staring. There's nobody really on the ground. To fight so as I was saying oh we got a guy pops in right here it's mr. GPO one this guy this guy has the, uh, the eyes of the tiger unfortunately he's outnumbered and going to have a very bad day <laughs> but uh, they spawned in behind us for a turn around and I'm gonna zip around this because I expect him to kind of back off here so we'll get him taken care of there then we're going to push forward, trying to keep the team as united as possible. That is a key in these games. You want your team uh, pushing into the other team as much as possible. Um, fighting by yourself often is not a good time. He's going to get taken out. We're going to push up. We're going to catch him with that, but get knocked over. And, well, that's pretty much the match over. Yep. So let's see how we did, everybody. Now check out that thick boy, yeah! And, wow, we got all the spots on the board, and first place. Thanks for joining me, bye-bye!